Hey, what's up guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media back with another Dokkan Battle video and today we are going to be showcasing the newly Extreme Z Awakened Fizz Super Saiyan Gotenks on the global side of the game even though he doesn't put out the you know insane numbers that the AGL Super Saiyan Blue Kaoken Goku does who of course got his EZA at the same time and I feel like most people are paying attention to the Goku at least more so than the Gotenks which you know, it, it makes sense, but this kid still 100% deserves your respect and your attention because he is just freaking awesome. Alright, so first things first, I'm going to talk about his details, so for anybody that already knows exactly what he does, feel free to skip ahead maybe a minute, minute and a half, and we'll get into the gameplay. Alright, so starting with his stats, 15,695 attack, not bad for a non dokkan Fest EZA, 10,822 defense, pretty good, and also 17,184 HP, which is quite high. And his leader skill is all types key plus 3, HP, attack, and defense plus 77%. His super attack causes immense damage and seals super attack, and his passive is attack plus 120% when performing a super attack, and then key plus 1 up to 3, and defense plus 30% up to 120% with each super attack performed. His links are Golden Warrior, Super Saiyan, Prepare for Battle, The Innocence, Fuse Fighter, The Saiyan Lineage, and Fierce Battle. And his categories are Fusion, Hybrid Saiyans, Majin Buu Saga, Youth, and Super Saiyan. So those are all the details you need to know about this Fizz Super Saiyan Gotenks EZA. And without further ado, let's jump into Boss Rush 8 here and uh, see what he's all about, all right? So first rotation, we do have the Gotenks with the Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks, who is pretty much his best linking partner, at least for attack. And we have no support on rotation, but the damage should still be pretty good. So let's see what he can do here. Um, I guess I'll give these Rainbow Orbs to the Gogeta, see what he's all about. Actually, you guys already know what he's all about, so that's not a big deal. All right, 2 million almost attacks that right off the bat and of course the enemy is now sealed and then the Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks gets 2.4 mil we already know that he's really good so that's no surprise there and Gohan is dead not a bad first rotation not a bad first rotation and then the next time these guys come back we'll have the base Gotenks the uh, tech one from the world tournament who will provide 40% attack so um, it should be even better all right but not a bad first rotation and uh, as far as the comparison to the pre-awakened form, I think in that circumstance he would have done maybe a hundred, no, uh, 1.1 mil, maybe just around a million. So almost double the damage this time with the EZA, which is a pretty significant increase. But the major difference, in my opinion, I mean, on top of the attack, is the fact that he's actually kind of defensive now, right? Like before when uh, he was not Extreme Z Awakened, he actually had no defense on his passive at all. So this guy literally could not take any hits, right? So now with the EZA, he's building up 30% um, defense with every super. So after a few turns, he should be maxed out at 120% defense, which means that, you know, even though he's not gonna be a tank, he's gonna be, you know, not taking all the damage, right? So right now he's at 60,774 defense after one super. Of course, that's going to go up after we do a couple more supers. So here we go. Second super with the uh, tech go tanks as a support. So we should see a pretty significant bump in the damage output here. Uh, let's see. Okay. So, damn. Okay. I didn't expect that. 2.7 million. Damn, dude. Okay, and 1.9 mil crit right there. So 2 million damage from Gotenks. And as far as like damage output goes, that's pretty much as high as he gets. So I'm not going to spend too much time uh, on the showcase, obviously, when it comes to certain units that can like stack indefinitely or something like that. Then I'll spend a little bit more time, you know, trying to get them to as high of a number as possible. For the Gotenks, though, he doesn't stack, right? So what you just saw there is pretty much his max attack uh on this team at least and of course i mean you can do some crazy things with like special support units and active skills and all that stuff to get his attack even higher but in a realistic scenario on a team that you would realistically run uh that's pretty much his max attack right so 2.7 million about two mil crits not too shabby man especially considering don't forget he is a non-dokonfest 
unit, right? So not a Dokkan Fest exclusive, you can pull him in the uh, general SSR pool on pretty much any banner. And uh, that's that's pretty damn good for a unit that's not Dokkan Fest. He actually does more damage than um, certain Dokkan Fest EZAs, I believe. Or at least like comparable damage. At least, oh crap. Damn, I messed up. <laughs> I don't want to break up the uh, Go Tanks, so let me just reset the game real quick. I'll be right back. All right, so we're back in action. Uh, as I was saying, very, very impressive damage output from the Go Tanks, and we're gonna see the transformation for the Gogeta once again, no problem. And this guy should have a bit more defense now than before. Okay, so 62,000. Keep in mind that we actually had the Go Tanks uh, base Go Tanks as a support before, so that's why it's not a much higher increase in his defense. But 62,000 now after two supers, and uh, yo, look, compare that to the Go Tanks uh, Super Saiyan 3 Go Tanks defense, 24,000. I know, of course, he does lose defense. Um, on his passive because he does so much damage at least at the time like that was crazy damage he was doing so they had to you know take him down a notch by decreasing his defense right so that's why it's only 24,000 but still but still I mean that's a huge disparity between these two go tanks is so uh, we're gonna go with the super again on this guy and of course we're gonna seal the enemy um, this is gonna be super useful of course on events where you can seal the enemy so for example super battle road very very um, useful on the battlefield, very useful, but then on other events like certain Dokkan events or legendary Goku events where you can't seal the enemy, that ceiling's not going to be very useful, unfortunately. Okay, 1.95 mil once again, and uh, I think we can seal this Go. Yeah, we can. Okay, so Gohan sealed, 1.2 mil crit, and then the 2.4 mil from the Go Tanks once again. Like I said, these guys are not going to be stacking attack like the Super Saiyan Blue Kakin Goku. So we've seen essentially his max attack, but I do want him to get one more super. And then, actually I don't know if we're gonna make it. Probably not gonna make it on this event. Yeah, that's too bad. Okay, well, <laughs> there is the first event. I think I'm gonna do one more for this video, just so we can see a little bit more action from the Go Tanks. But uh, I'm very impressed by him. I, I really am. Alright, so now we have the Pandel on rotation for support, 30% attack, and Go Tanks gets up to 2.5 million. Um, unfortunately, type disadvantage, but we do get the additional as well. So about 5 million total attack on that turn, and the second attack does crit 2.8, almost 3 million damage with the seal of course. I mean of course he was already sealed after the first super so it's like not a big deal but uh, those are some nice numbers man. Those are some really freaking nice numbers. And now we have the triple Gogeta um, rotation. You know how like I just moved the friend out of the rotation and put mine in rotation even though like they're the same because they're all super or all super all, all rainbowed but it's just a weird thing man. It's just a weird thing I have like I much rather use my own lead as opposed to the friend lead even if the friend lead honestly is like better you know in circumstances where like let's say the friend lead is rainbowed and my lead is only like one or two dupes right i still go for my own lead just because it's my my unit right it's my leader as opposed to the friend i don't know it's a weird thing i don't know if you guys are the same let me know in the comments if you guys understand what i'm saying or am i just crazy because yeah i have this weird thing where <laughs> I'm, I have so much more fun running events with my own units, even if the friend is better. It's just it's just a thing. I don't know. Maybe I'm crazy. I probably am. But uh, at least I'm being honest. right? At least I'm being open with you guys. Anyways, getting back to the showcase, we are going to finish off this Tech Super Saiyan 4 Goku event. And then we'll be on our way. We do have the base Go Tanks or, or the triple Go Tanks rotation, basically. And uh, it should be about 2.7 million again we get from the Fizz Go Tank, 74,800 attack this time because we got the double super, right? So he built three supers worth of defense. So 74K is still pretty low, if I'm being honest. Um, still not gonna be helping you much against enemies in Super Battle Road or anything like that, but it's still a significant upgrade from before. That's the main thing keep in mind because he got no defense before so you're looking at on average maybe like 
don't even know what it was, maybe 20 to 30k defense on this team. So now it's it's getting at least more than doubled. So yeah, it, it, it does make a difference. How much of a difference? Uh, it's hard to say, right? Like <laughs> you're still gonna be taking supers on super bad road probably for like over 100k easily, maybe 200k, depending on which stage you're taking on. So it looks like this is gonna be the final rotation of the video and we are ending off on a token attack, which is pretty freaking awesome. We sh we're still tanking, actually, the normal attacks for double digit damage. So that's definitely an improvement. I'm sure the old gold tanks, damn, I missed one. Ah, oh, I missed three, what? Okay, so let's try this again. Um, <laughs> I did reset the game because that was just too sad. I didn't want to go out like that. So there we go. We got all seven this time. And uh, I completely forgot what I wanted to say before, but it doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter. We are back in business. This should do a pretty decent amount of damage. Um, his attack went to about 2 million, like before, without supports. And 1.5-ish to end the showcase. And that's gonna do it, guys. Uh, I mean, I've loved this unit for a long time now because I think, I can't check. I wish there was like a system in the game to, uh, you know, allow us to go back in history or in the history of our account and check these things, but I think he was actually the first unit that I rainbowed when the hidden potential system came out, but I can't confirm. I feel like he's at least like one of the first two or three, but for that reason, this unit has always and will always have a special place in my heart, and I'm so glad that he's getting the respect he deserves. Um, damage output, really good too, to 2.7 million as you saw in the showcase, and then of course defensively, not amazing, but much, much better than before, and also a little bit key self-sufficient since he gives himself up to three key after a few supers. So overall, really, really good easy A. Um, I think the Fusions team actually got a pretty nice boost from his release. I look forward to using him more on other events like Super Battle Road and Dokkan Battlefield. So that's gonna do it for today's showcase, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comments down below what you think about the Fizz Super Saiyan Gotenks EZA. And as always, if you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button. To join the Tiger Squad now, and while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you wanna stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it, I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.